Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to do the drop carousel. So this is a version of the original carousel, just a little different. So here we go. And for those who haven't done the carousel yet and would like to have a template, there will be a link in the description for a free template that already has a carousel built out for you. All you have to do is start dragging and dropping pictures. So that's my little gift for you and a little thank you. And let's go build our drop carousel. So we're going to start off by using the template that I created that you can get down in the description. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to change my background color to, I don't know, let's do like a candle color. Yay, that'll work. Um, and then you can just do this and delete this part. And my little heart I sent you and my little name tag. You can delete that. So now you got your base for your carousel. So what you want to do after that is you're going to want to do your very middle one. You want to duplicate that. You want to kind of leave it in this. You want to do that because you want to take that one and you want to put it up all the way at the top. So what I did is I left a little bit at the top. And at the end, when you finish your carousel, you're going to push it all the way up here where it disappears. But you want a little piece of it showing while you're building your carousel because you have to try to get that, you have to get a picture to go up there. So you have to get it to click in there. And if this piece is in there, one, you can't see that the picture is clicked in there. And two, so you need this as a visual. So we're going to go back at the end of the carousel and move those all up. So what do you want to do next? Because you're going to drop them all. You're going to take this and you're going to go across just like this. And you're going to take the transparency down to all of them to zero. So now they're all disappeared. You don't want to group them together. Don't group them together. Just turn the transparency down. So now you can see they're there, but you can't see them. So now what we want to do, we want to go up into our photos. So I'm just going to go into, uh, let's go into recently used. So I'm going to just stick with the puppy dogs for now. So what I personally did to keep track of what ones I did use was I just took them. Well, let's click them so they don't try to go to the background. So I just took them, made them kind of small, and kind of stuck them down in a row in the bottom. I'm trying to remember what order I used them in before because it just, once you get the order down, it's okay, but you kind of start forgetting. Um, so I just did that and then it kind of made them small at the bottom. So I kind of knew which ones I already used so they'll, they'll start disappearing. Oh, I already used that one, so let's not do that. Um, Frenchie, I think I had the beach one behind the blue one. It was like blue, blue or something like that. Um, go here, Mr. Frenchie, Mr. White Dog. Now you don't have to do this. You can just drag them from the side if you want to, but I just find like a lot of people get confused because you, you got to kind of keep track of your photos and it can get a little confusing sometimes um, which order you've been doing it in. And you have to go back to the previous slide and be like, I oh, did we do that one. So we do this. Oh, we already did the German Shepherd. And let's, and I think it's this one is the last one. So I think that's all the puppers. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. We got one more pupper we need to do is this pupper. I think he was like second to last or something. But here's all the puppers we need. So these are all the photos that I need. So what I want to do is I want to start with my first photo. So what we're going to do is I am going to go up here to start with my first photo. Now remember, at the end, we're going to go hide these. We're going to push them up. So that's your first photo. So now what you want to do is you want to go here. You want to duplicate the page. So what you want to do now is go here, take your transparency, and put it up to 100. And then what you want to do, you want to come over and get your puppy picture that was at the top and you want to bring it over. And then after that, you want to go to your second picture and then move it to the top here. So that's your next step. Then what we're going to do, uh, my match and move is already in here from the template. So you don't have to do that either. So that's automatically in there. So if you look, if you want to do a quick look, what it should do is drop. 
So that's going to show you that it is dropping for you. And you can also go back into match and move and adjust the speed. If you want to go slower, faster, that's up to you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate the page. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to the next one, the where I wanted to move there. I am going to take the transparency up to 100. I am going to take Mr. Yellow up here. I am going to um, take this one, which was Mr. Puppers. Uh, who was that one? This is where, for me, sometimes it gets confusing, which pupper I have up there, um, which would be Mr. This one. And then what I'm going to do is go and put him here. And then you're going to just duplicate the page and keep going around in your circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this out for you. And then we'll come back and we'll see what we have. What I want to do now is see my carousel. So there you go. There's your carousel and everything is dropping. And so what I want to do now is I want to clean up everything. So like all these down here, that if you got anything left over, just trash those and get them out the way. And what you want to do now is go up. And just take this see it's got this little bit of a border on it which makes it awesome and you just want to put it up and now it disappears so you just want to go through all your things all your uh, pages and just clean that up so it just jumped to another page i can see that here but that's okay so you just want to move it out of the way like so um delete all the stuff here go through and delete all your extra pictures here trash those um Move this up. Um, if you want to do a background or anything, I would, unless you want to just keep copying and pasting through each page, I would kind of design your background first. That way it'll travel with you um, when you duplicate the pages. Um, sometimes I'll make a background or I'll put a saying on it after the fact and, you know, um, do that at a different time. But, you know, you have to, copy paste copy paste copy paste but sometimes i don't get an idea to, for a background or a saying till after i've completed the carousel and you know what or you could download your carousel and then come back on the flip side and put all that stuff on top of your video i mean you could do something like that if you're doing words or something versus copy and paste in through every page but you know personal preference on how you want to design um everybody's a little bit different and everybody has their own style so like right now i'm just doing this cleanup and chatting with you and so if you want to see what i did by accident so i'm not going to clean the rest of this up um hold on let me go get the other page where i made the boo-boo and i'll be right back okay so here is my original drop carousel so what I did originally was I made a regular carousel out of this and then I decided, hey, what it would be neat to drop them in. So um, what I did after the fact was I took my original carousel, my regular one, and then I moved it all to the back. And then when I did it, the pictures weren't the same. So I started working on moving the pictures around to kind of make a match with the, the drop one in the front. And what happened about midway through is the pictures were different. So if we play it here, you can see they go from front to back to front to back. So if you have a full carousel, so say you did a full carousel, you wanted to do this and you wanted to keep on doing your carousel and moving your, 
your puppies around in a carousel fashion after you dropped them in and doing another cycle all the way around. Um, when you get to like that point, what you could do, what I would do for easy, if you want them to move back and forth, when you get to the point in your carousel where all your front ones are in the back, is what I would do is I would duplicate that slide, put that slide behind the one of them all in the front, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's this slide, let's see, it's this slide, this slide. So it's this slide to this side. So we see this side slide, they're all in the front. So when you get in your carousel and you see all these pictures right here or the majority of these pictures in the front, what I would do would be to duplicate the slide that this matches to in your carousel. And then what I would do is just bring it into the middle and then go back to the slide. So what I would do would take the first one, take this, take this slide. Uh, this one might be your, like your last slide, duplicate this one, put it behind that slide and then make another copy of this slide and put it on the other side. So if you, understand what I'm saying. You're going to have two dupes with a dupe in the center. So, um, let me make a space and see if we can, um, so what I want to do, let's take, this is a full first slide. So we're going to duplicate this slide here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it back here at the end here. And then let's see, I want to do something where that one is in the back side. Let's see, that one's fully in the back. Let's let's try this one. So we'll duplicate this one and see this one. And then we'll bring this one over and bring it down here so we can look at it. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate the original one first and duplicate that one. And then what I'm going to do is put that on the back side. So let's see. And let's see what that turns out looking like. And there you go. And that's how you do that one. So if you have a full full one all you can all you have to do is take two slides and do that and you do two of the first the beginning slide and then uh one of a slide where your photo is in the back and there you go you have the whoop whoop so that gets that little trick down or i called it a boo boo but i kind of liked it so i kept it so that's how you do the boo boo and that's it for the tutorial on how to do the drop carousel. This is my third carousel. Um, if you've watched the other ones, I love you guys. Thank you for watching once again. And for those of, of you that are new, please hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's make beautiful things together. And I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.